our class framework that we've been working with has addressed all of these different topics that you see um, on my screen. So we've addressed all of these topics through hands-on learning uh, last semester and this semester. Um, we have uh, approached all of our work through the um, design process that you see here, starting from to understand uh, the experiences of others, framing the opportunities that we find through our research, imagining the possibilities of how we could address the challenges and goals of the people that we're working with, and then prototyping for our ideas. So it's really focused on this part of the design process. And this semester, they've been working collaboratively with their um, project sponsors who have generously spent time mentoring students um, and helping them frame their challenges and test their ideas. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Isha and I'm part of the team for the Digital Literacy Assessment Tool at the SIT Council. Um, and today we'll be showing you what we've worked on this past semester. Our project is titled Path to Digital Equity for Older Adults and our project sponsor is the San Francisco Tech Council. Hello, we are Team 4 and we partnered with Fresh Approach this semester, a nonprofit organization with the mission to create long term change in local food systems. We work alongside our nonprofit partner, Fresh Approach. In partnership with Berkeley Engineering Student Services and the Division of Undergraduate Education, we've been exploring ways to help first year students connect to resources and build a better sense of community during their first year at Cal. With the Center for Care Innovations, we partnered with the Center for Care Innovations in partnership with the San Francisco Health Network, Bay Area Association of Disabled Sailors, Bay Area Association of Disabled Sailors, and Ability Hacks. How might we help older adults and differently abled individuals navigate challenges with digital literacy in their professional lives? A lot of Bay Area seniors are kind of left behind, whether it be for filing unemployment benefits or getting access to health care, insurance, even connectivity. So here is a skeleton of our digital literacy assessment prototype. There's 11 different sections in it that it addresses in the realm of digi digital literacy. Um, and it starts off with a very simple question of whether the user has an email or not. Our challenge and our goal was to design a digital literacy assessment tool for these older adults that can be used to accurately assess digital skills and also assist in the creation of training plans for future use. In our new assessment on Qualtrics, we took the feedback provided from our first iteration and made questions we asked much simpler. Additionally, we have included a personality survey that measures openness, conscientiousness, and extroversion taken from big five personality traits. This allows us to gain further insights into our data and measure whether there's a correlation between personality types and tech literacy. Lastly, we've optimized our survey to fit the cultural melting pot that is San Francisco by including five of the most spoken languages as a translation. How might we connect more low-income Black Indigenous community members of color with existing resources and deepen relationships with them? Our solution pivoted to building a new role for community members that will help create more outreach and feedback for Fresh Approach to deepen their, their roots in the communities that they serve. We named it a community liaison. So in order to really flesh out a role that could get the job done, we assess Fresh Approach's current structure. And so we see our community liaison sitting on the advisory board as a more outward facing role, more geared towards outreach and in individuals who have more time to dedicate to a paid position. How might we help Fresh Approach strengthen engagement to resources within the communities they serve? Natasha will embark on a journey through our solution life cycle, a cycle comprising four interconnected parts, outreach, engagement, mapping, and maintenance. This is a linear way in which we envision Fresh Approach community members who will be able to utilize our solution. Berkeley has a ton of resources and services but they're spread out and offered through different programs. This makes them more difficult for students to access. This led us to explore a two-part solution. First, we proposed consolidating the most essential resources and services to a single landing page for easy access. Next, we proposed providing students with an app to help them connect with one another and build academic community.
How might we make telehealth more accessible for the non-English speaking population? And we hope to create a solution that would supplement current telehealth appointments, would be easy to use, and would maintain the cultural competency between the patient and the provider. So the way that we've envisioned our solution is that if the patient were to speak in their own native language, in this case, which is Japanese, the cat can see subtitles at the bottom of the telehealth screen that automatically takes whatever the patient is saying but translates it into English, and also vice versa. Our goal was to improve the utility of telehealth for the elderly populations. The telehealth coordinator role would be fulfilled by pre-med student volunteers that would assist with the telehealth experience for both providers and patients. The position would be a year-long one such that students would receive significant clinical experience throughout the year and establish continuity with patients and providers. How might we support hospital staff to understand and consider patient wishes upon arrival to the hospital from outpatient clinics and home? Our solution consists of two parts, an online and physical booklet that consists of questions. Additionally, it utilizes age-friendly survey and visual design. And finally, it facilitates the completion through the health system. How might we help bad sailors feel more comfortable with navigating to and within Tier 40? The backbone of our solution is a volunteer-based health system where sailors can indicate that they would like company and assistance navigating to the pier as they're signing up to go sail. Um, this will save volunteer and sailor time, help those who are the least confident in navigating, and create a low-tech solution. After the initial research, ideation, prototyping, and conducting interviews, our final goal is to develop an autonomous navigation system to guide sailors who are visually impaired around the Pier 40 Marina. So what is our solution? We have developed an armband wearable with adjustable Velcro straps. So the armband will carry the user's phone on which they'll have the Marina Navigation app downloaded. The app is tailored to those who are visually impaired and makes use of machine learning algorithms for accurate obstacle detection. 